Prince Luis Inacio Lula da Silva was sworn in as Brazil's new president. This will be his third term in office. Around 300,000 people attended his swearing-in ceremony in Brasilia along with 120 international delegations. Around 10,000 members of people's movements from across Brazil also traveled to the capital to participate in the popular movement's camp. They celebrated Lula's presidency and reaffirmed the need to struggle for pro-people policies. I am Letícia, from Belo Horizonte, a militant of the Party of the Workers, of the Mundial of Women. I am here today to celebrate, to commemorate a period of recommence for us, of reinvention of our country, of the possibility of fight, of conquests, of social conquests, of returning to this democracy, a period of construction of rights for women, for negros and negras. Lula did not receive the presidential sash from any authority but from citizens representing Brazil's diversity. After being passed between these representatives, the presidential sash was presented to Lula by Aline Souza, a 33-year-old mother who works as a recycler. In total, Lula received representatives from 120 countries, 53 of them with heads of state and ministers. This includes heads of state from Germany, Angola, Argentina, Bolivia, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, Guyana, Guinea-Bissau, Paraguay, Venezuela, Zimbabwe and Spain, among others. Sob os ventos da redemocratização dizíamos, ditadura nunca mais. Hoje, depois do terrível desafio que superamos, devemos dizer, democracia para sempre. On his first day itself, Lula signed pro-people decrees and provisional measures. This includes renewing and strengthening the Bolsa Familia program, which guarantees a monthly family income, of 600 rials to those in need. This program was stopped under Bolsonaro. Lula also signed decrees for restructuring gun control policy, environmental crimes control and the reactivation of the Amazon Fund. He also created the Ministry of Indigenous Affairs, which is being led by indigenous activist Sonia Guadajara. Guadajara is one of Brazil's most renowned indigenous activists and among the first indigenous women to become a federal deputy. Meanwhile, ex-president Bolsonaro was absent from all proceedings as he fled the country to the state of Florida in the US. The Socialism and Freedom Party has filed a legal appeal in the Federal Supreme Court for Bolsonaro's arrest. He has been accused of encouraging his followers to carry out violent acts, such as roadblocks and attacks on public buildings and vehicles, which were intended to reject Lula's electoral victory and promote a coup. E esse dia é muito importante por, pelo resgate à democracia, pela liberdade, pelo respeito, pela diversidade. O Brasil vai voltar a ser feliz de novo. O mandato que recebemos, o mandato que recebemos, à frente a adversários inspirados do fascismo, será defendido com os poderes que a Constituição confere à democracia. Ao ódio responderemos com amor, à mentira com a verdade, ao terror e à violência responderemos com as leis e suas mais duras consequências.